up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Marketing Podcast with Indup. I'm your host, Nathan Webster, and I'm excited to chop it up with you today. Today for episode, we are in, oh my gosh, can you believe, 162. And this is going to be a 163 because it's a two-parter. I got my girl, Raylan. It's been a minute, Ray. Where you been? You know, I've been busy. You know, I've been doing lots and lots of stuff, but I'm happy to be back. Mm. New, improved, and ready for summertime. <laughs> That's what's up. And we have a, an amazing topic, how to vet a social media agency with course with our beautiful, wonderful, intelligent, qualified expert on branding and social media. We have Gray Digital's very own Raylan Logan. Please tell the folks who you are and what you do. Oh my goodness, I wanted to meet her. Who was that? Well, hi everyone. I am Raylan Logan. I am your brand coach, your brand's new cheerleader, and I really excel at developing brand strategy as well as social media pages, all with the goal to make more money because at the end of the day, most of us didn't start business just to not have money. It's just not really the way this works. We have heart-centered work, but at the end of the day, we want more of it so we can give more to the world. So oh. that is what I'm an expert at, and I'm excited to chat with all of you again today. Yes, absolutely. And for those that are listening, and maybe you heard this, you just started downloading. Uh, this is a podcast going out in July. We talked about this in January, maybe February, I think. Sometime around then, because I had a client who was looking into having somebody do their social. And it was mm -hmm. in the winter time, for sure. Yeah, because I was like, ooh, that's a good one. Because um, so many times, uh, oh, shoot. I always get going on this and I y'all don't don't hold me as I look, I, I love you all to all my subscribers, my folks that always download the podcast, man, I appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. And for my first time listeners, thank you for joining the show. I appreciate you rocking with us today. If you love the episode, if this helps in any way, please subscribe, please share, please rate, please review, please comment on whichever platform you're on. And if you want to reach out to us, you can reach out at info at nwebstraLLC.com. Now, I'm ready to get in the meat potatoes. And like I said earlier, we're going to talk quite a bit. So I was like, you know, 15, 20 minutes. No, let's just do 30, maybe 35 minutes. And let's cut this bad boy in half. So this is a two-parter. So make sure you download not only this one and you listen to this one, listen for the next one, right? Part two, because, hey, we about to bring it. So with that being said, Ray, you just start you were just about to say uh go oh where do i want to pick up at <laughs> so what i was going to say not you my bad that's me that's me uh i don't have enough coffee in my system yet um, so, <laughs> <laughs> and so what i was gonna say is i always seem initially in my career of being a marketing agency owner consultant uh developer i felt that i was always fixing somebody's mistakes or having to do damage control and heal the relationship that one is supposed to have with someone like me and so is when you were talking about vetting a social media agency you know, please start off, uh, you know, the listeners, because they always hear from me, but they barely hear from you. I know. it's It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. I know. So, but you were building your business, though, so it's all good. I was. I was. Uh, here, Here's the thing. And I feel in my heart like I might hurt some feelings with what's about to come out of my mouth. Ooh. And I won't apologize. So... The issue with today is it's an oversaturated market of everybody who believes that they are very, very good at doing your social media. It's a, it's a saturated market. And 
you know, for those who don't understand, those who hate opening up their phone every five seconds, for those who are like, oh, it's one more thing. It's very easy to get sucked into all these people saying, I can do it for you. I can do it for this much. I can do it for that much. Then you pay them and you pay them and nothing changes. And or you start to look at the fact that the followers you have aren't even your ideal customer and no wonder it's not making you any money if you started to peel back the layers. And so it's a lot of times it's because you as the person who's going to hire them are uneducated enough to know what it is that you needed. And on the other side, some folks are just excited to get started and they're learning too. They just happen to be maybe three steps ahead of you and they haven't really fine-tuned their process. And it's not to say that they won't later on. We've all started somewhere and we want to give those folks a chance, but I think we just need to be a little bit more transparent on what that looks like. You can go on Etsy today, right now, after this call, after this podcast, and you could go buy all the contracts and all the things that you need to become a social media manager to make it look like you are put together and you have it going on. You could go on Fiverr. For the folks that can't see me on YouTube, I'm shaking my head, (laughs) yes. Oh my God, I can't tell you how many times I've seen like, I got this from this person, I got this from that person. I want to do all this and did, 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 did. Oh my, I'm like, where'd you get this from? So, okay, I just had to interject, please keep going. No, it's it's totally okay, because, but that's the reality. And then also as business owners or people who are like, I wanna start out and I wanna save some money, we'll go on Fiverr. And then all of a sudden we find somebody who's apparently an expert in all social media, and but they're doing it for $80. No. Just hey, no. Okay, hold on. I, I had I had a potential client when we were it is funny, I should have known it was not gonna go good because we started <laughs> you went to the office and we were like, let's go grab lunch. I'm like, okay, sure. We went to Taco Bell. Um yeah, I'm like, I don't eat. <laughs> yeah. That and then we I was like, okay, we'll move forward. And then after that. Uh, they were like, we're not going to move forward because uh, we found a tax guy that's an accountant that also can do social media. I was like, uh, okay, sure, okay. Well, I, you know, and for me in my head, I'm like, yep, just leave it alone, Nathan. Just walk away, walk away, walk away. Because if if that's what they think they need and how they're going to scale, grow, okay, leave it alone. You know. Uh, as as a brand coach, as somebody who is a certified business coach, um, that's where we say, know your niche and know your ideal client. And that was not your ideal client. No, no. Yeah. But, yep. But Taco Bell, Taco Bell, guacamole, cinnamon twists for all my <laughs> cheerleaders out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Train of thought. Back on. All right. So, yeah, that's that's a huge squirrel. <laughs> That was a purple squirrel and I just watched it go that way. So there's nothing wrong with going to Fiverr. There's there's nothing wrong with going to Etsy. None of those things are necessarily wrong. What happens to be the part that is not your best choice is that you never dug deeper. It was you took it at face value. There can be somebody incredible on Fiverr. I bet you there are a few. There's probably some incredible stuff on Etsy that you can purchase, and it's how you use it. It's a tool. It has nothing to do with the person who put it on the website. Like, go get your money. I appreciate you. Right. However, we need to vet these things, and that's where we're here to help you figure that out. Yeah. So, step one, ask Uh questions the steps. How, how many steps are there ray or are you just going on today the- we don't know we're riffing <laughs> get it girl get it all right all right this is the imaginary we don't know where the staircase ends y'all i'll tell you when it does <laughs> okay perfect i'll start writing them down so step one you're really going to want to start asking key questions ask yourself you know if you're meeting with somebody for this for the first time ask them hey can you show me your portfolio or any case studies of successes. If they have those, then they've been doing it for a good amount of time. Now, if in your gut you still feel like, 
okay, you have them, but, and their follower count went up, but like, did their bank account go up? Ooh. Then start asking even more questions. Be like, oh my gosh, you know, tell me about case study B. I really feel like that's similar to my situation. What does their business look like today since you've been helping them? Do you, and do you know? Because sometimes you might, as a social media person, you might not have known to ask that question. Now you know. Please ask the question. Ask your clients how have things improved. Mind blowing. <laughs> it is because people do. It's kind of like with PR. When I, 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 you know, when I say I don't do copywriting and I don't do PR, uh, I hate writing. I'm not great at it, and PR is so doggone hard. Yeah, I can get PR for folks, but that doesn't mean you're going to make a profit or any profit at all. More than likely, it's going to be an expense. So just because, yes, you get growth on social media and those vanity metrics doesn't mean you're going to make a sale. Yeah. And if you have someone and you feel like it's not working, again, ask questions. But the questions you need to ask are, first, you have to do some digging. So this is like 1A. You have to do some digging and look at who your new followers are. Are your new followers folks who would actually spend money with you? My goodness, are they even in the state, in the states if you're in America? Or are they a bunch of followers in another country that you can't even legally serve? Mm. That part. If somebody is helping you with your LinkedIn and you're, you're only targeting director level and above leadership, and decision makers for what it is that you need to sell. And then you go and look at your following count because somebody's managing your LinkedIn and it's nothing but a bunch of folks who are entry level people. Well, they're not decision makers. They're not going to help you get closer to the dollar. So love them. Glad they can learn from you. But are they going to be the people at the end of the day who would make the decision to work with you? Probably not. No. And I think that's really important for folks to understand when they're doing social media is, you know, people can have multiple accounts, uh, but are they the right people you should be targeting? And And are they the right platform? Oh, man, sorry. Go go ahead, Ray. Keep going. Keep going. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when you say, like, start asking key key questions and will they make money for you? And I think too, too much has been in my opinion, too much has been social media is not a real channel. Uh, We want to stay on the traditional, the magazines, the newspapers, the billboards. And it's like, that's great and all, just like the brick and mortar, but you need clicks. And if you don't exist in the cyber world, this World Wide Web, which is why we say www dot whatever your website URL is, then it, it you know, it doesn't exist, but it's like, no, social media does exist. It's very powerful. You can get a return on ad spend on ROAS. There is an ROI. You just have to be smart about it and you can't be everything to everybody. And if you do it correctly, I said, and not, but, and if you do it correctly, you will see the profitability where you don't or where you're not working as hard. And it makes your life so much easier, again, when you are doing it in the way that it works best for you. And you're not trying to be all things to all people. Where's my shirt? Oh, I just look at the wipe behind me. You got to be you. Okay, right. Thanks. For I know. I love it. So step one, you have to ask questions and you have to ask key questions that are going to get past that. How many followers does somebody have? And is it pretty? Right. We've seen many social media pages that work that are not pretty. It kills me inside. But at the end of the day, the strategy was stronger. And it is more important to be consistent than creative. Consistency will beat creativity every time. Mm. The magic sauce is if you can be consistent and creative, then you'll win every time. So, but you have to ask the right questions to get there. Now, yeah, step and, two. Yep, go for I it. I would say, um, and no, 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 you're fine. I would say if you don't know how to ask the right questions, then um, if I, I will say if you are at any point feel like they are just speaking so much marketing speak to you and you can't understand it, then they're also not the right agency for you either. No. Or they don't know how to bring it to your level and that should also be a red flag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
All right, so I got step one, start asking key questions. Step one, A, will they make money for you? Now, the next part. This is the part that most folks are trying to avoid. Step two, you need to have your little duckies in a row before you have somebody take over your social media. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Because this is where we're going to have to go to part two. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> have your Until next time. <laughs> in a row is where we're going to have to leave off because, one, that's a great cliffhanger. But, two, what does ducks in a row mean? So, Raylan, for those that want to learn more of all your awesomeness, superbness, as you drop these diamonds, where can they find you at? You can find me primarily on Instagram. That is my social media of choice at mm. Gray Digital MKTG. And that is Gray with an A. You'll see a lovely picture of me in a hat because that's how you'll always find me. And if you really, really, really needed to ask me a question and Instagram's not your jam, email Nathan. He gave you the email in the beginning. Info at let him fill in the blank in webster llc.com he checks his email better than i do folks so <laughs> he will definitely get you to me and we can help answer some of those questions outstanding and so for all you rocking with me downloading the show on a regular basis as a subscriber as a follower thank you very much ray thank you for joining the show today so until next time say bye ray Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wish you nothing but the best. So dream big and Godspeed.